the second, the second question. It says, an advice to the husbands who allow their wives to be influencers on social media, like promoting businesses, uh, events, and so on. There is nothing wrong in halal work. If a woman abides by sharia, then there's no problem in being an influencer, but this is generic. When we come to go into the details, as they say, the devil is in the details. So scholars give generic answer. There is no problem if a woman becomes an influencer as long as she is abiding by Sharia. Okay, what do you mean by that? I mean she cannot come and show any part of her body on social media, not even the face, not even the hands. And she cannot speak on social media because although the voice is not awrah, but Allah stated in chapter 33, Surah Al-Ahzab, وَلَا يَخْضَعْنَ بِالْقَوْلِ فَيَطْمَعُ الَّذِي فِي قَلْبِهِ مَرَضْ Do not soften your voices so that the one with illness and disease in his heart would not be tempted. So if you come on social media and say, and this is something. <laughs> no. The people now are tempted. It's me, Sheikh Asim. Don't get any ideas. So softening the voice is problematic and the sisters come this is haram if they come showing their bodies their beauties their beautiful even i've seen sisters in niqab mashallah with eyes and eyeliners and mascara and uh, lashes and if you bring a goat and put niqab on a goat's face it has the most beautiful eyes in the world. <laughs> and it will tempt people with illness in their heart, let alone a woman. Yeah, he take care. So if so-called quote unquote husband allows his wife to do such things, he's not a real man. With all due respect, no real man would allow his wife to come in such a fashion. And this is why the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, three will not enter Jannah. The first one, a dayuth. So the companion said, whoa, what is a dayuth? He said, it is a man who allows his woman folk to engage in indecent and inappropriate actions. So this is part of a diyatha. May Allah Azza wa protect us. 